Hi friends, in this session I would like to address two specific queries relating to the FRM exam. First query is the MPS of FRM exam and second query is the exam review of November 23. This is not a query, this is a general request from the students. Also I got comment on my video recently which is on the please prepare November 23 attempt review and your MPS estimate. So uh, instead of replying to the user, I thought to provide you the general guidance on these two queries. So let's first start with the MPS of FRM exam. Now MPS of FRM exam, this query comes from the students who are from the CFA background. So in CFA, MPS as a concept is very famous. MPS stands for minimum passing score. And this minimum passing score is calculated based on the results collected by the faculties. So faculties collect results. And based on this, they try to gauge the MPS. Now it is possible in CFA because in CFA you get very detailed results. So for every subject, the result is like your score is below 50% or above 50% or above 70%, below 100% and like that. So if you have these details, with these details, it is possible to gauge the MPS of exam. On the other hand, when it comes to the FRM exam, we don't have these details. The result is simply the pass or fail and quartile distribution for each subject. So quartile system simply means there are four quartiles. So good, excellent, good, average, poor. So are you in the top 25%, then next 25% or then next 25% or bottom 25%. This much you are able to know in your result. Now here, this is not the information on scores. This is the information of where you fall as a candidate, exam candidate among the other candidates. And with this information, it is not practically possible for us or as me to calculate the MPS of the FRM exam. <coughs> so there is no foolproof of MPS calculation of FRM exam. Still, I have my guess of MPS for the FRM exam. So for part one, my guess is it is it should be around 60% or 60 questions out of 100. And for part two, it is around 50 or 45 questions out of 80. Now, what is the basis for this MPS or MPS guess? So basis is I set mock exams and obviously GAP conduct exams, actual exams. So I have observed like students who are able to score more than 55% in my mock generally clears examination. Now here, the difficulty level of mocks which I set and the GAP exam are at par. This is based on students' feedback. So also general feedback or uh, feedback from some students is like I tend to set mock which is slightly more difficult compared to the actual exam. And based on this, the my guess is like, okay, so if students are able to score more than 55 and are able to manage or are able to clear in the actual exam, so the, the actual MPS or the guess for the MPS should be 60. And for part two, also the same process is applied and it should be around 45 to 50. Now, if you are planning to set MPS for yourself, to set as a bottom line in at the time of your preparation, I would recommend you to go for 55 for FRM part two and 65 for FRM part one. Why? Because you should not be setting your MPS or you should not set your MPS at very bottom. So 65 or more is a safe zone in my opinion. And also again, recommendation from my side, don't bother about MPS part a lot because see, I'll give you like, I'll ask a simple question. Now say you are sitting in the examination, you did proper preparation. You are amazing with the concepts and everything is fine. Now you know that you already scored 65 or more in the exam and you have 20 questions left. Now my question is, what do you, will you do? Will you solve those 20 questions, remaining 20 questions? Uh, knowing that you already scored more than 65 in the whatever you solved till this particular point or you will simply skip it. Obviously, you will solve it because you will try to achieve or score maximum, right? So if your strategy is to score maximum anyway under all situations, why to bother about MPS? So don't bother about MPS. Just know 65 or more is a safe zone, but don't bother about it a lot. Try to score maximum. And how to score maximum make sure you have amazing concepts make sure you practice enough make sure you appear for mocks and see your preparation level so that you can calibrate or recalibrate your preparation and this is all you can do next is the exam review of number 23 so this is again the request from the students again i'm getting this request again and again after every attempt so if i'm not wrong i'm the first one ever to provide exam review of rm exam i started this in may 2018 and after that attempt i provided exam review after every attempt now i discontinued exam review part after 2021 so there are two reasons for this first is a gap approval so we become gap approved preparation provider approximately in 2021 now as per 
the rules like i'm not allowed to ask the specifics of the questions and without knowing the specifics of the questions it is not practically possible for me to provide the feedback of exam so even if you check my previous exam reviews i never provided specifics of the questions but i gave you the general outline of preparation strategy based on exam okay so without knowing the specifics now after 2021 it is not possible for me to provide a valuable exam review uh, which will definitely which should definitely add uh, value in your preparation this is the first reason second reason is now we have cbt after 2021 and with cbt exam now we have exam on multiple days and on multiple days we have multiple sets of paper with multiple sets of paper it is not possible for us to gauge the general exam pattern or what is the area and this creates a second problem so these are the two reasons why i discontinued providing the exam review if you just want to know the like the broad outline of exam so exam was very well balanced for new november 23 exam as usual exam was difficult but not very difficult so borderline difficult exam also then from the numerical versus the theoretical perspective so exam was well balanced so there were approximately 30 to 35 on an average 30 to 35 numerical questions and remaining were theory theory questions were based on as usual again uh, like the previous exams so theory questions were based on concepts lot of theory questions were based on concepts so if you know the concept if you understand the concept if you understand the formula you will be able to answer questions in the examination so this is a learning outcome from the exam okay so this is about these two queries thank you and thank you for watching this video if you have any specific query definitely ask me in the comment section i will definitely help you out with those queries thank you and thank you for watching this video bye bye take care